thanks for checking out this doctor character this purchase will include a fully rigged cartoon character with 15 custom medicine related assets with about 40 custom poses and the renders are super duper quick around 15 seconds in cycles and 7 seconds in Eevee and this is the wireframe here is it from the front and the side and the back and this is the close view okay this is the overview after the intro if you liked what you saw simply check out the time frames in the description where i'll mention each of the important parts like the rig and the poses and whatever just basically check out the timestamps in the description to see which part you are interested in this file is recommended with the latest blender which you can find on blender.org slash downloads blender 3.3 the rig should and will work fine with older versions from 3.0 upwards and it should definitely work in the future with 3.5 3.6 or whatever comes out in the future it should work great so just go on blender.org and download the latest blender now we're gonna check out the rig of the doctor character first we'll just go into pose mode I'll press N to show the right windows and we can maybe disable a few of the layers so they don't annoy us we can check it out one thing I recommend is to simply hide the hair because it's gonna lag a bit if the hair is enabled so simply just hide it you can see here I'm moving the mouth it's not laggy at all and if we unhide the hair and we try to move the mouth again you'll see that it's a bit laggier just just hide the hair and once you're rendering you can unhide it and it should be fine I'm hiding it by pressing H on my keyboard okay let's check out the rig now um, we'll go into pose mode let's check out the mouth looks cool the stethoscope you can also move a lot really quite flexible you can maybe put it in her arms in case you want to do something it's uh, so it looks very good chest as well I mean the uh, body you can also move the skirt in case something annoys you there's also helper rigs like in case you want to simulate wind or her walking basically there's a lot of things you can do of course the fingers don't worry if they don't they're not pink it's just sometimes preview looks weird but they work fine in the renders and the shoes are also cool you can make her walk very well skirt automatically adjusts of course because that's how it needs to be you can see you will need to do maybe minor adjustments you can see here it comes through we can just uh, can just uh, move it a tiny bit and then it should be fine okay that is all for checking out the rig now we're at the checking out the poses part of the video fairly basic stuff let's first go into camera view by pressing zero on our numpad or by pressing one on our numpad to go in the front view we'll unhide the hair so we can see them by pressing alt h and then we'll go into pose mode and we can just see on the left side we have all the previews of the poses we just click on them and we can hide the layers so they don't annoy us we can just click on them and switch through poses <clears throat> and that, yeah it's basically as easy as that in case you switch through poses and it looks like this where you change poses and seemingly nothing happens that means because this rig layer is selected make sure by right clicking on nothing that nothing is selected so for example I press G 
and move my mouse nothing moves but if I if I select this and I press G you can see that it moves so just make sure nothing is selected and then when you switch poses it should work fine without any issues uh, now we're at exporting renders part of the video to export renders first you have to render it so make sure you're in cycles or EV so in my case I'll go to cycles I have lowered the resolution to 25% it's pretty low but I just want to quickly show you how to do it usually you would have it at 100% or even 200% we'll also make sure our GPU is enabled so in my case I'm on my laptop and I have this card enabled and then I'll just go into object mode have my pose that I like and then I'll simply click on render image you can also do it with the shortcut F12 but then it's gonna look and be great I'm gonna wait about 16 seconds for the render and it's finished it was 12 seconds so once it's rendered we click on image and on save as one thing I recommend doing is clicking on RGBA this will help you have PNG images if you have this it's gonna be black so make sure you click on RGBA to have PNG images and that's all for exporting renders okay creating a custom pose this is the most important part of the video and also the hardest one thing we'll do first is go into pose mode we'll go into our team pose with all the assets visible the second thing I recommend you do is hide the hair by pressing H if you want to unhide it you have to press alt H in case you cannot click on uh, the hair make sure you first are in pose mode so if I have in pose mode I cannot click on the hair so just make sure you are in object mode and then hide the hair and then the rig is not gonna lag so that so that's that um, to create the custom pose we'll first uh, you can of course create a custom pose with assets or without in our case uh, this is uh, if we want to create without assets we would just use this pre-made asset. but we want to create a custom pose with a asset so we'll first have the pose with a bunch of assets and then we'll um, choose our assets so I'll think I'll take this numpad so I'll put it next to her and then I'm gonna press B select all the other layers make sure you don't select the female character rigs and just pull them down so they're not visible here on the top right in the camera we'll pull these ones down as well don't need to be too far away just away from the camera also pull this down and now we only remain with our numpad we'll put it in front of her um, something like that you can also scale it smaller or bigger up to what we want to do we're actually gonna scale it big because I don't know um, so when we create the custom pose we'll just start selecting la layers and just thinking of something we would think look cool so we'll take the big numpads we'll move the roots of the female to the left you can see here in the top right we have the character itself so and the camera what will be rendered so we just choose what we want to create so in my case I will have the numpad straight on like that Oops. Um, you can also rotate by pressing end and then all of the locations so you can rotate and do whatever you want like I'm actually gonna press zero so it's exactly zero then I'm gonna select the roots you can move it either by these things or press G pressing GX there's a bunch of ways how you can navigate I have a bunch of tutorials on YouTube how to do that um, we can actually show you if you go on this video um, not this video this channel this is gonna be the blurdy channel where you can also this see this asset pack. current video just uh, make sure you go on popular and I have this video and this video these two are very detailed and they talk a lot more about navigation but we'll continue in creating the custom pose we'll have this arm like this I'm pressing GR 
I'm pressing G here, so it looks like she's holding it a tiny bit. And then we're gonna have her heads. We'll press R Z. No, oh, no, that's R Y. And then R X. Of course, she looks a bit weird because she's out without the hair. So don't worry, the hair will be visible in the render. Um, let's move the legs a tiny bit by pressing G, G X. You break the camera view. Press zero on your numpad to have the camera view back on. Actually, I kind of messed up my view because I was too zoomed in. But in your case, just make sure you're in the center, or I can later show you how to. Uh, move the camera so it doesn't bother anyone. Okay, let's move her arm like this as if she's standing. Um, we can press N, and there's a bunch of other things we can do, a bunch of other layers we can enable. There's also the hair layer, you can move the hair if we have it visible, and you can hide stuff in case you don't, for example, you don't need to control the stutoscope anymore. We'll just hide that layer so it doesn't annoy us. Um, yeah, I'll open up the mouth a tiny bit and then I'll select both of the corners and make the character smile. Um, I think this pose looks pretty much done. Of course, in my case, I'm speeding through it because I don't want to spend too much time on it. In your case, I would recommend spending more time. But now that we have the pose that we like, finished. To save the pose we'll press A. Basically that means we select everything and then we press N and then we have this animation layer. We'll just click there and then we'll create uh, and then we'll click on the create pose asset. After we do that the bottom left corner it's gonna say what you want to call it. We'll call it big notepad doctor and then we can see the pose in the top left corner if you want to rename the pose you can see the, you can see this arrow we just click on it and then you can rename it by notepad 2 doctor or something like that and then it's going to be renamed but now that we have our custom pose to switch through the layers it's pretty simple stuff. Just make sure nothing is selected and we switch through all the new poses and then we go back to this pose and we can see our custom pose. One thing, of course, make sure if you're not creating custom pose by pressing Alt H, we will have our hair back. Just make sure you select on nothing again so the hair is not selected and then go back into pose mode and then switch through poses all you want. Uh, but that's basically it in saving a custom pose. If you enjoyed the video, check out the links and whatever. Bye-bye.